I think the most exciting feature that people will like the most is the solid maze patrol. And that is a feature where you can import a 3D model um, directly into a maze patrol program. So I can show you a demo of that real quick. Um, here we're, going, we're, we're just going to select a, a 3D model. We have a few here. And I think uh, maybe this one will work for us. And then you uh, have to give it a name. Uh, we're just going to use test for our purposes right now. So this is the part. We're going to finish this section. And then we need a workpiece that we can cut this out of. So we just find a workpiece from our database that we think will fit. This one looks like it'll work. So we can go ahead and use this. Then this is how the part will sit in the machine. Um, you can try and do it automatically. And then you can flip the Z axis if you'd like to. I think that one looks fine. Now we're moving on to the uh, processes where you can set up the different processes on, on head one and head two and how it will transfer. So here we can set up the, where you would uh, have the processes for head one. And then this is the processes that would be on head two in the blue. So that is set up and we can, we can finish that portion. And now it's trying to generate a maze control program from the 3D model. This really reduces the time of the, uh, of the maze control programming. Um, like you see, it took maybe just a couple minutes to generate a full program. Once it gets done loading, we can check it out and see if we like it. So here are the processes that um, the, uh, the machine decided for us. These are the processes on head one, and here's the processes on head two. And then we can look at the program that was generated. And here is your full maze control program from the 3D model. Very much uh, reduces the time it takes to program.